everyone with uh, the cicada hatch coming up this spring and summer. I uh, thought it'd be a cool time to demonstrate um, how to tie one, and not only that, give you some tips on tying bugs with big slices of foam, uh, legs, and some synthetic. So the thread I'm using is big fly thread. And I'm using it for a couple reasons. One, because it's strong. And two, because when I want to give the cicada those segments, I always like to have just a piece of the body cut out ready to go. And you can see that I typically make them. So if this is my hook gap reference, I'm going to use the gap this, this way and the gap this way. Um, so overall, probably two and a quarter inches, and then the head here, I would say, is three quarters of an inch. So size reference, there it is. Okay. So uh, for the underbody, I'm going to be using is just black ice stub, and I actually had it improvised because I'm out of it, but typically I just use black ice stub. And you kind of have to build up a little barrier or... Um, just a little piece of dubbing or a little ball of dubbing to lock in that foam or else that foam would want to slide all over the place off the hook. So uh, you could see I'm always keeping my thread in the same spot. And that's how you get those clean segments. Okay. So I'm always checking to make sure that foam is right where it should be. I advance my thread forward and then back over top of itself and that locks in that foam because I kept that good tension the whole way going up the hook this way and then wrap back over it and it locks it in. So I'm going to do the same thing. It doesn't take a lot of dubbing. You could just It just doesn't take a lot. You can use a little bit. Get caught up there. Same thing, keeping that thread in the same spot. Good tension on the thread. Pull the foam back, advance forward, wrap back over. Okay. So we have to do that five times. Tension on the foam, get locked in place, advance your thread forward. Okay. It's probably better to err on the more dubbing side on the excessive dubbing side then less dubbing or not enough just because you can just you know rope it tighter you could just you know roll it in your fingers and dub it tighter to make it smaller so it's not as big a profile or you can just kind of build up a nice little taper to the fly so if you're going to err on either side it'd be better to have too much dubbing okay same thing Lock that thread down, or lock that foam down. Advance the thread forward. And this is the last segment. 
So this segment is gonna have the most wraps around it because we're tying in legs, we're tying in flash, we're tying in a wing. So there's already gonna be extra wraps around this segment. So to start out, don't do this segment heavy. Just start out real light, just a couple wraps. Because again, now you tie in the underwing, which is uh, just midge crystal flash. I like the midge crystal flash because it's supple and um, it doesn't take a lot of it to, you know, to throw off a good shine. And what's nice about this is if you twist it and pull it this way, straight down, you can see that it goes perfectly straight across so that whenever I do go to tie that down, I know it's going to lay nice and flat. Okay. Trim these up. Now I'm going to hit it with just a little drop of glue right on the back. Take my trusty toothpick here. And while that's still kind of setting, you can make sure that your wings are right where you want them. Now you're going to tie in your poly wing here. Okay, about like that. And lay that right over the back. Tie it down. Okay. So now, fold it back again. Pull everything back. Tie it down. Now this is a cool little trick here. You take a hair clip, bang, hit it with a hair clip. Everything stays back. Okay. All right, so now we got the underwing, polywing, and our foam here. Um, so now we're just gonna advance our thread forward a little bit, cover up the uh, eye of the hook, and close that gap up there. Bring your thread back. So that's what it kind of looks like there. Um, now we're gonna lock in our thread. I just like to go until it's just about even with the hook. Again, we're gonna keep that thread in the same spot. Okay, so that's what we got going on. Now time for the legs. I'll do each leg or each side of the each side of the fly I'll put two legs and I'll make them real long and then I double it up behind the thread. That way I could pinch everything together in one finger and dictate where I want those legs to go. Which on a cicada, like I said, I think it's cool to have them going straight down. Like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing just for the other side. And there's a reason that I keep all those materials long. And it's because for this step, you can groom back that whole fly, and it takes it takes way less effort to tie in legs when all that material has been uh, held back by that fly clip or hair clip. Again, keeping the thread in the same spot. Okay, and now he's got a whip finish.
cut my legs right in the same line as the hook. Okay. Missed my tag end here. Clean that up. Okay. So now with all of that exposed thread, I'm just gonna come in with just a little bit of super glue and clean up some of those spots on that thread just because they're very exposed. Um, it's not the strongest thread, so I just want to make sure that that thread isn't going anywhere. It just helps the, the fly have some longevity. And I'm balancing my right hand on my left hand here to get it nice and sturdy. Okay, I'll do up here too. Up on the top. So now, I like to trim up these foam, these foam heads. They're kind of cool, but if you, but I'll show you why I like to trim them up a little bit. So I'm just making it parallel to the fly, where I'm, is where I'm cutting it. Okay, I'm doing the same thing over on this side. And because that fly or that foam has doubled over itself, you can just Put your eyes right in the slot right there on both sides. Just kind of kind of open them up with your scissors a little bit. For the eyes, I'm using the EP Shrimp Crab Eyes, just mono. Cutting them real short. Not that long. Little super glue right where those two pieces of foam meet, where the where it's foam double backed over itself, and if you push on it, it opens up a little bit, and you could slide your eye right in there, and that'll keep it nice and locked in. Okay. Again, having the, the clip. Just to keep everything back and away while you're working makes it so much easier. And do the same thing for the other eye. That's that. Now, take all the poly wing back, 45, 45 degree angle from the tail. Boom, snip it off. There it is. Basic foam cicada. You can see I have nice clean segments the whole way. Durable fly. It's gonna float nice and high. That's it.